Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor. Um, I just wanted to show you some ways um, that you can use your colors. I just have some colors on my palette. Just red, blue, green, black, brown, white, red. See? Just any colors at all. Because sometimes you do a painting and they ask for certain colors of dark greens and you only have a light green. But I just want to show you some different ways you can make some different greens. Just take some green paint and put it on your canvas. Now when you do that, when you put that green on there, if it's not dark enough and you want a more earthy color, I'll make it big enough so you can see it. Now you will be working wet on wet, okay, in order to mix, when you want to blend colors together you have to work wet paint on wet paint. So if you add black to that green, you will get a really dark green, but it's kind of a muddy looking green, so you can always add more green to it until you get a nice dark green. So there's a nice dark green there just by adding black. See how it changed it? Now what about if you want to add something else? So say you have your green, start off with your light green, and you add blue. See what that will do. So blue, change it to a nice bluish greenish color which is nice for your oceans, your forests. So adding blue looks really nice. That darkens up your green. You can use that for shadows. Now let's see what else. How about we take green and we add red. See what happens. Okay, so you take some red and add red to it. And that changes the color to a nice reddish. Reddish brown because green and green and red makes a nice brown but you get a greenish brownish color which is nice too if you add a little bit of white to it you'll be able to see what you're doing you can see it's nice you can you can change the values with a bit of white change the values there's too much white it's probably too much white, so you can just go back here and see. You can change the values. So see how the red and the green makes a brown color? Let's see what else we have here. Let's see. Brown. Put brown on your palette, on your canvas. I'm just using some Bristol paper right now. And if you add a bit of red to that brown, you get a nice reddish brown. It's a nice color. There we go. So you can take your colors and you can add either the complementary colors so the complementary color of red is green. And uh, that's what we did here. So we toned it down with the complementary color, the opposite color on the wheel. So now we, uh, we all know that blue, so let's add blue. Let's add some yellow to our blue. And of course that turns it to another green. And you can change the colors by adding more yellow or more blue. It's almost the same color up there. And you can add a bit of white to change the value. Let's see what other colors we are. How about brown and yellow? Let's see what that looks like. Brown and some yellow. There we go. That's a nice color. 
So it just changes the colors. If it's too dark, you can add the yellow to make it lighter or a nice tan color, a nice uh, beach color. So all those nice colors. You can have black. Black. And you can add yellow to your black and it will turn green. Isn't that amazing? It's a nice dark green. Just by adding yellow. You might need more yellow than black. I'm not sure. Let's see. You can keep adding yellow to your... Look, there we go. Nice green. Let's see all the greens you can make. Really nice. See all these nice colors you're getting. What other colors would be nice? What's blue? We added blue and green. Let's try blue and brown. Blue and brown. That changes to a nice dark grayish color. Blue and brown gives it kind of a gray, dark or medium, or let's add some white and see what color gray it is. Oh yeah, that's a nice gray, see? Nice! So, you can do a lot of things with your colors. You can make your own colors from just from the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and you can get all the colors that you want, and you can change the values by using white or black if you wanted to add black to some say this one here to darken it up but see the thing is that one is uh, dry you need it to do it wet on wet to get the change you just add some more green so depending on what colors you're looking for in your paintings you know, if you want to do a glaze, you can take some blue watery paint. You add water to your, to your, put water in a little bowl and add some blue paint to it until it's see-through. And then you can probably glaze, like if you glaze over this, you can still see what's underneath, but it darkens it up for you. But you can still see what's underneath. shades down a little bit by glazing and glaze. Yeah, and you can glaze just watery blue paint or watery red paint or as long as you can see through it then you can see what's underneath what you already have done. That changes the green, tones it down again. So those are some colors that you can play around with. If you just want to use red and you want to get a nice orangey color, you can add yellow. I find sometimes I get almost pinkish color and I don't like that. But if you add enough yellow, you'll, you'll get your orange. There we go. See? It's pretty. You can even add a little bit of white to it. Brighten up even more. Oh, there you are. Lost you. Okay. Good. Do that again. So we got some red. And then we got some yellow. And it's more yellow than it is red, so you won't get that pinkish color. More yellow than red. And there we go, the really nice, bright, beautiful orange. There we go, that's better. Didn't want to lose you. So, that's a few little tips on your colors and what you can mix together to get some nice colors. And uh, so you take your colors and mix them together. You can even mix probably two or three colors together to see what that does. Probably you could mix uh, brown, brown, 
and blue. So say you mix all your dark colors. Brown and blue and red. And that'll give you a really nice dark color. Dark purplish color. Add a bit of white to see what it looks like. Nice purple. You can even take red and your blue and add some yellow. You get another nice color. So just mix up your colors and see what colors you can get from from the ones that you mix together. Gives you a nice pink color. Lots of ways to mix your colors and get all kinds of different shades and blends. Make sure that paints are wet. Wet on wet. They're pretty colors. See how pretty they are just by mixing some colors and that way you don't get a straight green if if a painting asks for for a um, hunter green and you're, you only have a light green. Just add some uh, blue to your green to bring the tone down. And uh, you know, if uh, if you, the colors are asking for certain colors you don't have, like like if you they ask for a yellow ochre, yellow ochre, ochre, ochre. You can have yellow, your bright yellow. Right now, I got to mix. So your bright yellow, and then you can add some brown to it, and that'll give you that yellow ochre look. There we go. See, and that tones it down to a yellow ochre instead of a bright yellow that you have there. So, lots of ways to get some pretty colors. If they ask for burnt sienna or burnt sienna or um, burnt sienna, you probably could add a bit of uh, yellow to your brown. Um, raw umber, you could probably add a bit of brown to your red. And just look up the colors. If they ask for a certain, if you're looking at books and they ask for a certain color and you don't have it, well, mix some colors together so that you can get close to that color. So it just takes a little practice. And um, if you have any questions about this or you want me to explain it further, because color mixing in theory is very detailed, I just try to simplify it as best I can. If you want this uh, in more. Um, more explained, just give me a holler, you can leave a comment, or email me, alisonpryor at yahoo.com. I hope this helped, so happy painting!